Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rudy, and my audience is uh, the member of New York State Legislators. And at this time, I would like to give my testimony on one important issue, which is being different and have a disability. So my focus right now that being different and have disability it's challenging and being more challenging when you also have a disability. I do have my, my son Matthew, 11 years old, he has been diagnosed with autism disorder and my daughter is Catherine, she's 7 years old, she's quite normal or appears to be normal. So. Raising these two, two children, it's not easy. And what I can see, let's, uh, let's focus on one which is a being normal. What is the definition of being normal? Normal is average. Normal is that something that we use to measure that everybody are almost identical. And normal is also being a standard regular generalized to the other people. The fact that if you have used a lot of inventions today like a camera, your pen, your car, your gadget, those being invented by a distinguished people, not ordinary. It's very special people and they are different than being a normal person. The other examples, the Olympians, the presidents, the scholars. What are the secret of the success? It's literally how their parents, their friends, their teachers help them, nourish them, support them to grow and being uh, flourish being special. So, there is a, an African proverb called it takes a village to raise, to raise children. And that's been wrote uh, by Jane Cohen and the book's been published in 1994. So, with that book, what, what happened is they, uh, they need a nourishment and support from others and from us. And everyone also familiar with the flowers, roses, with orchard. Are they just regular flower and plantations? No, they are. They are not. They are special. So all the tedious treatment that they need to help the plantation grow. And the truth, we are all not afraid. We are all unique human. We are all different. And even some have abnormality. So then that should be viewed as a possibility, not a disability. So with that, I would like to invite you to embrace, include them, and support, not only at home, but also at school and in our community. And thank you for all this time and this, this testimonial is not for you and me, it's for our children to help them to grow and do their best. Thank you very much.